been a while since I've recorded any content, I know. You know, I had to finish uni and get settled and now there's a whole pandemic, so I thought why not start making videos again? And um, to kick it off, I thought I'd do a, you know, start at home, getting back into it, starting some sims. Um, and I also thought, what do I like playing? And 100 Baby Challenge is definitely something I love doing. So we're doing a start at home for the 100 Baby Challenge. And I thought, because, you know, this is a challenge that everyone should be able to enjoy, um, that I'd make it a base game one. So. I use no other content other than base game in this build and let me tell you <laughs> it was really difficult. Um, I found it really hard. Uh, I just use so much content from the packs it's a little crazy. Um, but anyway, so yeah. As you can see I've built the little shell. I did have this lot type as a tiny home just because I wanted um, that if you had the pack, the tiny um, living pack, then you can have the benefits because um, you know start homes generally are quite small because you're on such a tight budget and I thought I'd try and make sure that it actually fitted nicely into one of the three types of um, builds so this is a uh, oh no, uh, a tiny home yeah it's a level two I forgot for a minute what the settings were but it's micro tiny and small home isn't it really hoping I said it right. I've got it right in the description. Anyway, <laughs> so just sectioning off um, how I wanted the layout to be with the tiny homes. When you're doing really small homes, it is quite important to get that layout right. Um, and I know that I've used six tiles. It will be four in a bit um, on the porch, but I wanted a porch. I thought that it would look cute. So I've sacrificed a little bit of internal space to have that porch out the front. Um, but as you can see, I've literally just sectioned off the bedroom and the bathroom, everything else will be open plan. Um, there's not really much more space to actually like section off areas in a house so small. Um, but yeah, as you can see, I've set a filter for the base game only and there's so, I, I kind of forget because I play with the whole, all my packs and I have all but mosquito stuff uh, pack. Like I just forget that there's so much stuff comes in it. Um, so definitely looking at the brick I was looking for like the um city living brick because I use that all the time so I was like nope gotta use a different brick um and yeah when I go in and out build mode it resets my um filter but I did make sure that you know to reset it and make sure it looks okay so anyway blah, blah, blah. um yeah so as a starting piece I thought let's put in the doors and the windows and try and get some paint on. I thought actually that I put like this grey cladding um, with this brick and I thought that would look quite nice. Uh, and then I was looking for like ivy to put up part of the wall and yeah no that came in a different pack thinking vampires. Um, so yeah mm -hmm. you'll see me do it a lot. I open a certain section and I go oh no what's that? Um, but yeah, so just, you know, fiddling around, doing bits and bobs, um, you know, the flooring. Uh, I did try, you know, my best to use the nice flooring and I've, I've not forgotten to do a little bit of landscaping, um, even if, if at the moment it's literally just a bit of floor paint. I do put a little levels in there. Um, yeah, I have also put, used the BB dot move object sheet, so just in case. Some things don't place, I mean everything should place normally without it, but you know, if you want to make sure everything's exactly where I put it, then um, please put that cheat on. But otherwise, like, I don't know, maybe a plant won't place, but then the plot will be slightly cheaper, so like, either way, don't worry about it. So into doing the actual insides of the house, um, I initially thought let's do like a light wood, because I always do light woods, and then I thought actually I've gone quite dark with the door and the windows so we'll keep the dark you know the dark wood kind of flowing um, and I've just gone for grey walls because it's nice and basic kind of it's just a nice plain background really um, and I thought I'd jazz it up a little bit in the bathroom with some other tiles I kind of forget about those tiles all the time and actually they're lovely so I need to try and you know use those a bit more what I'm actually doing uh, my normal gameplay and builds. Um, you know, can't forget about the nice bits of base game. 
So, as it's under booby challenge, we need a double bed. We need a double bed. I thought this one looked actually quite cute. Um, and I was just checking that, you know, you can put a toddler bed in this room. You can do. I do change the layout in like a minute because I was like, I don't know what to do with this. Um, but yeah, so you can put a toddler bed in here. I thought to begin with, you're going to just want a bassinet. Again, if you want to make these cheaper, you can delete the bassinet because if you have a baby and you don't have one, one automatically generates um, as a way to like make some money if you, um, you know, are struggling a bit uh, in the challenge. But as you see, I've just changed it around a little bit and I'm just putting the bare essentials in as I'm doing this. So bed, a wardrobe just because uh, sometimes Sims just walk around in one like their pajamas all day and it really annoys me <laughs> so i thought we'll put that in a bath because obviously you'll have toddlers and they need to be bathed uh toilet sink and i put a little me like medicine cabinet mirror in i was looking for a different one <laughs> that came with cats and dogs and then thought oh no that's you know not base game so i'll come for that one um again just in case you like your kids grow up and you really need to change how they look it's all there um, I think you'll probably outgrow this home very quickly, but again, it's a starter home, so that's, you know, you're not really going to have many grown-up kids in this house, are you? <laughs> so, moving on to the kitchen, I thought, because we've got a little alcove, we'll just put it in there. Um, I nearly picked a really expensive uh, stove and then was like, oh, no, that's going to eat up so much of my budget. Um, as you can see, I'm like checking how far we're going up in the um, little tile icon the stuff in the top left hand corner uh, I can never remember what things are called so yeah we've just got a small little kitchen it's completely usable I haven't put a sink in there because it's just not not needed um, you can your sims can wash up in the bathroom it, you know there's nothing different about that if you really wanted to put a sink in you could do but I thought the two um, countertops were a bit more useful um, so yeah, on to a little kitchenette, no kitchenette, that's, that was the kitchenette, little dining space, um, as you can see I'm putting a little bit of colour in through the kitchen and the chairs, the cabinets, the chairs, uh, I'm going to do it with the couch as well, um, just because otherwise it would have been a really boring room, um, and as you just saw I moved the door because I was like I can't put a TV in here like that. Um, and I did want to put a TV in just for a bit of entertainment, again not like a huge TV because they're expensive so I've gone for one of the smaller ones and put it on an end table or like a console table. Because um, I, again I thought that was kind of cute, it's a bit of like a mishmash house so it's the kind of um, what do you, you know, if you just moved in somewhere and you've got some like old furniture or you know hand-me-down stuff from like the charity shop those kind of things. That's kind of what I'm getting with this vibe of house really. It doesn't all match. I love that texture of couch though. I want them to put that texture on the other colours because that texture is only on two colour couches and um, yeah, really want that. So it is a bit of a mismatch. As you can see, that's like a really modern looking bookcase. But that council table is like really old looking. It's just kind of, you know, a bit of, you know, here and there and I mean, that's kind of my style. It's just eclectic and whatever there is. Anyway, so enough rambling. <laughs> I have put in all the essentials in the house as I thought that they were, so now I can go in and do a little bit more furnishing. So I've put in a couple of end tables, sized them down because the end tables in this game are huge. Um, I have also put in a painting. I take that out because I have to bring the price a lot down when I actually tried to move a sim in, it, like they couldn't afford it. Um, but hey ho uh so yeah just trying to put in a bit more light because i felt that the rooms were really quite dark um but, you know not putting in too many things a couple of plants just because you know plants brighten a room up and I'm, i am obsessed with the orange tree at the moment i've put it in about four of the last things that i've built um <laughs> so you know and then i was trying to find a rug and I'm still not sure that I'm completely happy with the rug that I put in in the end. This one, it goes all the way across the, you know, all the way across the room. But I felt that they needed to be a rug because it's a bedroom and it was hard floors and I don't know. Oh, just sized down the lights. Um, and I thought that was probably enough um, lighting in that room. Uh, especially because in a second I'm about to add some windows uh to the back and yeah just some flowers here and there i think a couple of the flowers got, again got deleted because monies but um you'll see in the final screenshots what exactly stayed 
Um, and of course, if you download it, which you can do from the gallery, then you can add in whatever you like. You can take away whatever you like. This is just like a kind of a, you know, a base to what your build might be. Um, or you can use it as like a shell, I suppose, you know, get rid of the interior and just see what you can build with this um, kind of shell be quite nice as you see just shortened up that patio it has deleted the stairs though that's kind of annoying uh, but you know easy enough to fix um yeah and i'm just gonna go through and do a little, little bit of landscaping um to make the you know the lot look a little less barren um i'm just checking that you know the windows were the right height and everything haven't put any curtains in again haven't put any curtains in you know just because expensive <laughs> but yeah so we're just gonna go through and add some landscaping in some new levels and that kind of thing but um i just wanted to you know use this this opportunity just to say hello again it's been a while um i am hoping to come back and post pandemic still be making videos we'll see how my life pans out um <laughs> sounds very serious doesn't it um but yeah, uh, just, you know, wanted to say hi and see if you guys want to, you know, to have more content from me in the future. Um, what kind of content, if you just want it to be like speed builds, if you want me to get back into my 100 baby challenge, challenge um, or start a new one or do other challenges or just a bit of, you know, an LP, please let me know. Because um, I, I do actually like recording videos, it's a lot of fun. Um, and yeah just you know give me some feedback please it's always welcome um the link for this house will be in the description um and on the gallery there'll be a link back to the video um good with all those links well i tried to be at least um so yeah if you've enjoyed it like the video subscribe all those good things are about to go into the screenshots in a second uh, after I do those good old terrain paints. Um, yeah. I hope that you guys have enjoyed it. So here we go. Screenshots. Ta da! I enjoy doing screenshots. Uh, I need to reinstall the mod that lets you do them in build mode though. Um, I had to move into Sim, but it's okay because, you know, it's in my 100 baby world, so I just moved in the baby daddy and after the screenshots I deleted the bassinet. Um, so it's just like, you know, if you, yeah, if you don't need to be a 100 baby one just delete the bassinet and it's a nice little start at home anyway guys i hope that i haven't rambled too much and you guys have enjoyed the video as i said give it a like um leave a little comment and subscribe for more content see you guys later bye